Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the submission of your app into Apple's Play Store. Now this video is not about hitting that submit button and filling that forms and descriptions and images, all of that. This video is rather all about sharing my experience that why your app can be rejected in the Apple's App Store, as well as what are the issues that I have faced recently as well as in the past and how I made it through those issues. So this is going to be a really interesting video sharing all of my experience that I have got so far with Apple. And trust me, this is going to be a fun video. You are going to enjoy a lot and you'll see some of the kind of a excuses that Apple usually gives and then eventually comes up with that. So stay tuned and let's get started. Before we move on further, let me tell you that I have submitted almost 15 apps for my clients uh, into the Apple App Store and probably more than 15. In some of them, I, will, I was working as a graphic design intern. Some of them, I, I have written the entire code by myself. Sometimes I have worked as a team itself. And there were always and always bizarre reasons that came up, showed up, and uh, the reason why our app got rejected. And I have learned quite a lot from that. To all the developers who are submitting their app to the Apple's App Store, I would recommend you to keep in mind that your review is going to be going into the manual process, not like in the Android App Store, uh, where you simply go and publish your app and it's being automatically being reviewed by the software. In the Apple's App Store, everything is reviewed manually still. And yes, they are using a lot of automation techniques, but still uh, there are always persons involved. So there is no chance that you can make any kind of trickery to that skip that system. Uh, it's not going to happen. I still remember that one time when I released and done all of my work at the very first time my app got rejected because I used a smaller font uh, at some of the places which were not into the guidelines. So there is always a guideline that you always have to follow. I would highly recommend to read about the HIG, the human interface guideline provided by Apple to skip all of such mistakes that I made in my early days. And I always recommend in all of my boot camps to read that guidelines and then move forward. But in this video, I want to share the experience of Learn Code Online app, the app that is still in the review process and we are facing a lot of problems. So just after when I released the Android app, I, I prepared an iOS app as well. And here, uh, after preparing the iOS app, uh, it got prepared within like five days, six days, let's just take it a week. So it was prepared within a week and I pushed that app into the App Store. Now there, the business model that we are following up here is once a student purchases a course onto the website, the same course is in his account and the same course appears uh, into the Android app as well as iOS app. There is no need to purchase again those courses. Obviously, it makes sense. And the same process is being followed in Android app as well as iOS app. So the moment we published out our iOS app, there were some issues that we faced. I'm going to share all of them. Uh, some of the problems were at my end and some of the problems were at the Apple ad. And again, all of them are teaching us something. The first problem that got hit was in-app purchase issues. So uh, there were some meta tags being missed in the in-app purchases and we actually uh, filled that up and that was completely our mistake, not filling up that meta tags. So work being done and we published, uh, we again sent it back to the review process. Now in the review process, you might have seen in the Apple's uh, developer conference that they have promised that now we are uh, upgrading our app review process and review will be reviewed within 24 hours. I would say Apple is drastically failing in that promise. And now you actually don't get all of the things within 24 hours. Actually, uh, it takes usually 48 hours still. And on top of that, you might be aware that the situ situation of uh, when you submit for a review, your time actually increases exponentially, which I personally think is not a good thing for developers because once your app is being submitted, it takes two days. Next time it's going to take like four days. It's, it's not a good thing because sometimes the mistakes are just miniatures. And hey, Apple, you are such a big company. You should hire more people uh, for review process and it should be really quick now in instead of increasing that exponentially. I am personally not a big fan of that. Next time when we published our app for the review process again, uh, during that mid time, I actually rolled out again a course on uh, Java Bootcamp that was an ongoing series and we again got a rejection. Uh, this time completely our mistake and in the guideline, they pointed out a thing that said, 
uh, in your app purchases if somebody is purchasing something that should be a finished product and cannot be an ongoing series and we said okay uh, let's just do that and we pulled out that course from the server so that it doesn't appear uh, in the iOS itself it still does appear in the Android but not in the iOS uh, so that was another point of rejection I get that these two all mistakes are due to me and uh, I'm the whole sole reasons for uh, these mistakes but what comes after that was completely bizarre now I do my entire learn code online website is all about programming and I'm not just an iOS fan uh, I also teach people how to make apps for Android and Java as well and this was a bizarre reason for rejecting my app the Apple App Store review process guys told me that hey Hitesh uh, your app cannot be submitted into the App Store because it takes the name of the Android. I submitted my uh, reason that Android name is going to be there because it's an entire course for the Android, not a mention of a third-party app. But these guys are not ready to listen to me. And I found it really, really bad that Apple is so scared with the Android that the moment you'll be putting up an Android word uh, into your app, your app gets a very high chance of getting rejection in the App Store. Now, obviously, when I'm making that complete Android developer course, this course shouldn't be having any problem because a lot of other competitors and other people who are big giants are already having their apps which has similar kind of courses. I don't know what's the reason with my app but they gave me straight reason that you cannot use the word Android. For the next like 10 days or so we have been continuously arguing about the thing that hey it's not a mention of the third party app it's an entire course you have the entire app check it out and these guys are not ready to listen to me. So we decided, hey, let's not fight again on that. And we pulled out again one, one more course on Android. And we figured it out that we need to remove all of the words that says Android. And we are going to fight that on the version 2. So we did the same and we pulled out that course. And we thought, now we are ready to go and submitted our app again for review. Again, uh, this is all going on through a period of like 10 days or 15 days or maybe even a month. Uh, Again, all of these things are happening because Apple doesn't tell you all the points at once. They simply just review one point. If there's a rejection, they're going to send you the, the review thing. And uh, it's bad because once uh, you are, if you're reviewing something, you just mention, you can mention all of the points and developer can work on all those points which are making you a problematic guy there. So all got sorted out and we thought that now we're going to have our app into the iOS app store. Now we got another situation. Now in the review process, they told us that if you're making an in-app purchase, why are you collecting the data? We asked what kind of data you are telling us. They said you are collecting the emails of the student. Can you tell us the reason why are you collecting the emails of the people who are buying your in-app purchase things? And we explained them the entire model of the business that it's the main anchor point by which students are getting all those courses because we want the experience for students to be amazing and if student is buying a course on the ios app and, and is not able to see the same course on the desktop it's not a good thing so we want to just make sure the students buy at one place and get an access to all the places without paying uh, again to us and again i don't know what kind of guy is there onto my review process at least and he's not ready to understand that and he said that hey uh, collecting of such data is not allowed unless and unless uh, it's a, a huge business case and we explained this yes this is a business case we want to collect the information of the students just the email address so that we can allot him courses on every platform it's not like that all the people read only from an iPhone or an iPad. People do read on their iMacs. People do study at their Android devices. So that's why please allow us to collect the student's email and after that only we can allow the purchase. Apple being Apple, they didn't listen to us and instead uh, said that, hey, if you want to explain these things to us on a phone call, we are ready to give you a phone call. Trust me, this was my very first time when I saw such a long process, such a long rejection in the App Store and even uh, the matter came on to the phone call. Now in the previous days also, I have seen rejections like two or three times and again when developer submits that, it gets usually passed through that. 
but this time this is too much Apple. I try to explain them everything on the phone call and the entire team is working here really hard to make sure that our app goes through all those review process but Apple being Apple they are not ready to listen to anyone. I haven't counted it but this time it's being like 12 or 13 rejections so far and that is why the process is being delayed. And this is something really bizarre because all of the things are making sense here. I don't know if I'm wrong here. I might be wrong and I'm not able to see that. But I think collecting the emails of the student to provide uh, one-time access for all of the places does really make sense and a lot of other peoples are already doing it. So this is whole of my experience what is going on with the Apple. And surely through these videos I will be explaining more later on that uh, what kind of more issues we are facing for the Learn Code online app as well as other experiences that I'll be facing for submission of other apps. Now I have seen a lot of rejection in the past due to my small fonts, uh, due to not making graphic like that much crisps or missing up a 3x time of the images. I have seen all of that. Most of the time it was like my mistake that I had done there but this time I'm not able to figure it out that what is the mistake here. Having an Android course was a mistake I don't think so because it's a product and it should be allowed in the in-app purchase. Was collecting students email was a mistake? I don't think so because it's a business case and email ID is an anchor point through which students are accessing courses on every platform, web, mobile, Android, iOS, everywhere. I don't think so, it's a mistake. So on a whole note, I would like to say that here, yes, it might be a mistake on my side, but hey Apple, at least what you can do for the developers is pointing out all those mistakes at one time so that developer can look out for all those mistakes and don't have to wait for an exponential growth of the time that you take in your review process. I know world can already see this the things are not going really great with the Apple and especially the release of the iPhone 8 before the iPhone 10 and let's just be honest something is going wrong at the Apple side. Please Apple you are a great company and I have seen other fruit companies like Blackberry uh, that have seen the fall. I really don't want Apple to fall here. To make the situation from bad to worst, what you can do is involve developers in such kind of situations. Please don't do this Apple. I really wish that this company should grow up. They make amazing products and amazing everything. But hey Apple, there is something missing. Please figure it out and solve that as quickly as possible. I know this video was long but this was an experience that I wanted to share with all of you. So in case if you have enjoyed this video make sure you do hit the subscribe button. If you are facing such situations with the Apple in the review process or anything I would love to know about it uh, in the comment section or at my Facebook page. You can also write down me an email about your experience and I would like to share that on my YouTube channel. With this thank you so much for watching hit that subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next video. Taking every turn. I've been on the road since I was five